quite a bit of food, not as much as I'd like, you know, maybe only for three, four days, honestly. Uh, but I can go back and get water, so water is not an issue. Um, so we're basically just going to have to just get beat feet and get to it, you know, and really just plow through these. And I'm going to have to just, I mean, really start walking it, walking it all the way around and through. Um, there's two or three mines on either side right here at the uh, side, so we're going to find something out walking right up through here. Walking down on this wash, there's less and less traffic. It really just looks like um, I had to cross another fence from where the uh, homestead is there. You can see the other mine up there. There's about two of them uh, up there up top, so we'll definitely be checking those out. See a little bit of evidence of uh, people being down in here. It's obviously a trail going through this bush. More of a wash than anything else, so we want to keep our eyes peeled in this wash. So this is the old township of Los Gavianes. It, um, all it was was just a mining town for uh, Shelite, and um, which I'm still trying to figure out is that they believe a main ingredient in tungsten or is tungsten or something like that. Anyway, they call these tungsten mines tungsten. <laughs> tungsten. Looks like I need a little more water. Tungsten mines, uh, but when you look at the main mineral, it's Shelite. It's not a mineral, it's metal. That's why I'm always looking at minerals. Okay, so maybe that mystery is solved and we can quit fucking talking about it. Uh, <clears throat> but check out how cool the town looks over here. Now, uh, Ricardo told me that there was a dammed up pond area over here where we can go and drink the animals at. He said there was plenty of water. Um, that is back over there where those, um, you know, little homestead looking deals were. The, you know, so there's all kinds of shit back off over there. So I don't know if I want to mess with that, but I mean, if you look at this, it's a really beautiful area. This is this was a mining district right here, right? And all up inside here is pegmatite dikes and pegmatite veins. Now we have seen evidence of pegmatite dikes sticking out. We have even seen possibly what looks like a little bit of evidence of vein. Uh, but we, you know, we're not even, at, we haven't even gotten to one of the actual mining spots yet. So, uh, I can tell you that I am really thrilled. This is just the beginning, starting here and, uh, then going off down that way. So, uh, this is really fantastic. There's a couple days worth of exploring right in here. So I just started to be able to get the view on the opposite side of where all the mines are at. The mines are over there. And uh, I know that goes against my greed and shit, you know, it makes, you know, I want to go over there, but I wanted to be able to get a good picture of the terrain and what's happening over here. As you can see, you've got this one major valley right here where it looks like there's a road going up there. I do believe that there's another mine back there. Uh, you've got a mine up here, you've got a mine right there, and uh, you've got a mine around the corner over here. Um, and then the big one, you've got a, what they call, I think, I think it's called the All-American in the Pearl Harbor, uh, mine, which is down this way around the corner and back up over yonder there. So, uh, beautiful spot to be mining at. Um, I mean, look at this. Dude, the fucking weather. You can't beat this. We got plenty of food. I got water. It looks like the animals got lots of water, so that means that I've even got even more water. So, we're balling on that shit. Uh, now we're just gonna go find some stones. So coming back, I get to get straight to my uh, dinner, which I already had cooking while I was gone. Oh yeah, all that is is uh, spicy shrimp ramen with some uh, refried beans stuck up in that bitch, and just uh, set room temperature for a couple hours. So it's really good. That. Uh, we're gonna relax and try and uh, stretch, work on our uh, chest routine from this press. And uh, not even kidding, actually, dude, it's gonna be killer. So we'll see you guys later.